Match over in League One as we head closer to the course the player final over in Wembley. Of course, Blackpool and Lincoln City make the trip. Who's your pick? I'll tell you next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video today. We take a look at the 2020-2021 League One final, boys and girls, between Blackpool and Lincoln. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date. All things Bap and Rose related, League One related, being in a boat related. Uh, we got it all here in a bloody boat. That's right, boys and girls, of course. Yes, looking forward to the player final, which, of course, coming this weekend. Uh, and who's your tip? We'll get to that in a second. Of course, a big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons, boys and girls. Thank you for your continued support. And if you're interested in becoming the latest member of the Patreon gang, check out the link down below. So let's get cracking. And of course, have a little look at how we got to the stage, of course, by, of course, recapping the latest picks. So here we go. Kicking it on off with, of course, a recap of the second legs. Blackpool up against Oxford. Of course, goals galore in this one. Six in total. Uh, Elliot Embleton, Kenneth uh, Dougal and Jerry Yates to give uh, Blackpool an uh, uh, unassailable lead in the end. Uh, that's their three goals. Matty Taylor, Robert Atkinson, of course, Oladimir Shalipo getting the goals as well for Oxford in it. 3-3. Three, three. Bang, I actually remember the two to win myself. 6-3, an angry great Blackpool win uh, to go through to set up a date with who? I'll tell you in a second. Of course, it was between uh, Sunderland and Lincoln City. That's right. Of course, this was just three goals. Sunderland actually came out on top on the day, 2-1, um, uh, which was my pick, of course. And it was a 3-2 on aggregate win for Lincoln City. Goals coming from Ross Stewart, Charlie Wyke as well, uh, with Tom Hooper getting an all-important goal for Lincoln City to get themselves through, of course, to that final, uh, which we will be taking a look at in just a second, of course. So, Lincoln up against Blackpool, that's my last, the, that's the date that we are set, set, set ourselves for. But, of course, let's take a look at your picks then, shall we? Of course, recap. Here we go. Of course, the Annie Buster did bits. The SDFC Jenga also did a bit of a well, bit long knock too shabby. I checked she did poop. Oh, Matt's giving you a well done indeed. Well done indeed. You did okay. Uh, Billy Mallet, well, you didn't do nothing. I'm sure did poop. Uh, James BCFC, I'll oh, get you did okay. Young Savage also did okay. Shite. Lewis Greenfield did shakaroonie. Uh, Andrew Watton also did poop. Ryan C did shite. Unwanted did poopity scoopity. Also, oh, sure, well done to you. And there's no patient thing in there, but of course, you are. Uh, respect to you. Of course, kicking us, Nick. Take a name. Shane O'Donnell did shite. Ollie Charles also did poop. Of course, Game Child did shocker. Rooney, Yaki Jackson, well done indeed. Well done indeed. Uh, well, actually, Ojo jo 52 did uh, did poo. AJ24 did uh, pretty oh well. And of course, Kenny TV did shite. Uh, Lee 21 also did poo. Servidus also did sh okay. Russell Frost also did better well. And somebody in the corner did something as well. I think he did poo, but I don't know. I can't see right now because my face is in the way. Uh, kicking on forward, though, let's take a look at um, uh, the leaderboard for this week and this week alone. A lot of noughts knocking around, of course. Yes, yes, that's all well expected. But of course, Jonathan Sandam, I think, was in the corner. Uh, maybe he did very, very well. So give him a round of applause. He wears the crown heading into the final, of course. Uh, Yannick Buster did very, very well as well, as did Yoki Jackson and the Chasing Pack, all getting ones. Uh, of course, the overall leader for this one it is already done and dusted, I believe. And of course, it's Russell Frost wearing the crown once again with a comfortable glimpse over Yoki Jackson, who did give a bit of a run for his money. So well done, Yoki Jackson, uh, for uh, making a bit of competitive towards the end. But Russell Frost coming out on top with nine points or something like that. So here we go then, of course, take a look at the final. It is Lincoln uh, going to go up against Blackpool at Wembley. Fantastic date. And of course, for me, I'm happy about this. I don't care who comes through at this. Uh, ultimately, my goal was to make the championship a weaker. Of course, Sunderland, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I, had a, I spoke to a Sunderland guy a couple of weeks back for our live stream and, and I told him up front, I said, you know what, I don't want Sunderland to go up because I know they're the, they are they're going to be the more packed. Out of all these six teams that were, were in, in the playoffs and promotion, I think Sunderland would have been the more, more, more difficult to play against next season. I think they would have come with some money. I think they would have strengthened uh, their, their team tremendously and I think they would have been a, a team to fear next season. They could have probably walked straight into the playoffs uh, in the championship next season. I do believe that. Uh, but of course, now we have have to wait so fortunately for us and to make it a little bit weaker uh, gives Blackburn Rovers that's all that's all, I'm greedy uh, a bit of a, a better chance next season we'll have to see about that but anyway it's all about these two now and again I, I don't care who goes through to be to be fair I have a little bit of a soft spot for Blackpool uh, but we'll explain my picks in a second of course let's take a look at the recent encounters uh, four matches between themselves since 2019 two wins for Lincoln I believe it is one win for Blackpool one draw the highest victory for Blackpool in that one and a victory was a 2-1 win uh, of course the biggest victory for Lincoln it was a 3-2 win 
win, of course. In total, Blinkett scores seven goals over Blackpool. Blackpool gets scored six. I pick it up at 1.50 goals per game ratio with a 1.75 goals per ratio coming from Lincoln. Um, heading into this, the form book goes in favour of Blackpool with a 92% success rate. As for uh, Lincoln, just a 50% success rate at the past six games, winning two, losing two, and drawing two. Uh, of course, heading into this, the, this quick recap of, of those games. Uh, of course, last round this season, of course, uh, at Lincoln was a 2-2 draw. Um, and of course, back in, uh, in October, uh, Bloomfield Road was a 3-2 win going in favour of Lincoln City, of course. So they've had the, the psychological advantage heading into this, uh, of course. So quickly, the, the stats then, of course, uh, Jerry, Jerry Yates did get a goal in, in one of the legs. Uh, of course, uh, Elias Sims uh, got a couple of goals, of course, uh, in the first leg to uh, to give uh, Blackpool a comfortable lead over Oxford in the end. On the flip side, Shawshank Grant is your top goal scorer for Lincoln City. Anthony Scully uh, getting amongst the goals with Brennan Johnson as well, who's also a bit of a player as well. Ian Hoop, or Tom Hooper, uh, amongst the goal scorers as well, just past the, 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 the crucial goal, getting, of course, Lincoln City to this stage. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm going to quick scan through the all the uh, the teams here. Of course, I'm sure there's an extra over knocking about, but I can't really see it at the moment. A Gary Medine, next Bolton man in there. Quickly at the table, of course, it is third up against fifth. Of course, Lincoln uh, can, be, can count themselves lucky, get past fourth place team, of course. Uh, but it'll be Blackpool, who, of course, who finished in third, uh, to duke it out with uh, fifth place Lincoln. Of course, the journey uh, for these two sides. Lincoln City are your uh, your solid team here. They were up there for the, the entire course of the season, maybe dripping out of the playoffs just the one time. Flirting with the top two, of course, trip throughout the season. Of course, Blackpool, completely different story. Uh, sort of mid-middle of the road team for the most part of the season. Uh, kind of struggled at the start, eventually getting themselves up into around about the top half and eventually making the surge uh, when it was anybody's guess. Anybody's guess as to who was going to go up and who was going to go down. Uh, but yeah, tremendous to be, to see them at this the, at the final. Of course, it wasn't too long ago they were in League Two. So uh, they, they're on the rise at the moment. Quick look at the bookies odds. 11 to 10 on is your, uh, 11 to 10 is your favourite. That is Blackpool, of course. 23 to 10 is your draw. Uh, 13 to 5 is your Lincoln City, of course. So uh, yeah, you'll see, of course, bookies going with Blackpool on this one. I think bookies are going to go with me or, or Duck's going to go with the uh, with Blackpool on this one. Uh, so here we go. It is the final. Again, I am pretty, pretty easy, easily pleased on this one. I could go either way. Uh, but my, my gut my gut tells me it is going to be a goals in this one. I'm going to go with a 3-1 win in favour of Blackpool on this one to take it. Of course, uh, 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 it's kind of a, a catch-22, really. There's a couple of players that I'm interested in from. Blackpool, Jerry Yates is one of them uh, that we've been linked with in the past. Uh, Elias Sims, I know he's not officially a Blackpool player, but of course, if it gets promoted uh, to the Championship, he might, may, might go there anyway. Uh, so I might see them as, as, as the... As the as the future for him, so I'm I'm, I'm quite greedy. I want a couple of their players. Um, so in in, in all honesty, if they don't make it, then it, it suddenly makes Blackburn a little bit more attractive. As for the flip side, I do wouldn't mind seeing Lincoln City go through as well because Appleton, of course, ex Rovers manager. I can think he, we kind of had him too soon. I think we had him too early in his coaching career. Of course, he's earned his keep now at Lincoln City. Of course, he's if he gets himself promoted once again, guess what? Uh, of course, the, the future is bright. The future is Appleton. That's right. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go with Blackpool on this one to take the three. To take the win and of course uh, go th go through to the championship and join Blackburn Rovers next season uh, but anyway that's all I've got for you today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash your thumbs up of course smash your subscribe check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook and of course Patreon as well if you want to support the channel in another way also check out the Discord it's wide open uh, and yeah we'll be back of course next season with a, with the League One as well of course we'll be following these teams wherever they go if they end up in League One or in the championship then of course we'll keep an eye on them with a brand new season uh, review predictions and all that kind of stuff so make sure you check that badger out um, but yeah let me know your thoughts of of course, the, the prediction is technically closed. We'll, we'll have a roundup video um, uh, probably early next week, maybe, or mid next week, once I get back into the uh, into the not so hot Georgia. But anyway, that's it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the old thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out the links down below. And again, I'll see you soon for another one. Some other time. <laughs>